economics was used. It was thought economics is about money price, something about variable goods and so forth. But uh, Gary Becker of Chicago extended economics to many other areas, racial discrimination, marriage, and so forth, that anything it is a matter of choice and uh, some kind of scarcity or constraint can be analyzed by uh, economics technique where you are. So I think this was a success of the economic science. So there are political economy, I'm talking that politics can be analyzed like economics that people want to maximize the power or benefit or constituencies try to maximize constituencies. And the legal process can be analyzed by the same kind of questions. But uh, the accuracy here, or the most difficult part of a difficult challenge that economics faces now is uh, about the income distribution. By technological progress, we saw to reduce misery and poverty. But now robot replaces many workers, for example, translators will take over professional uh, translating machines take over translators. So the income distribution became very, very skewed and the middle workers in the United States have very much difficulty. Their income doesn't progress in 10, 20 years. Very, very, only a certain percent. While there are big playing area for advanced specialists of the internet and so forth. They earn a very large amount of money. And this uh, is a problem because it created economic, uh, political situations like Donald Trump situations that those people who were sat unsatisfied would like to have different world or in Czechoslovakia or in Hungary, for example, half Nazi came into power because uh, middle income people, I think, had uh, very strong antipathy to the world. So the economics can explain many things, but the, the present economic system is not helping democracy, unfortunately, relative to other countries, uh, other totalitarian countries like Russia or China, the democratic world have been, has been very effective to make people, uh, income grow and democracy to be sustained. However, right now, democracy is in jeopardy because the capitalism or competitive system doesn't help this dilemma of income inequality. And uh, so this is the situation. Economics, it's not economics fault, but economics spend so much time on efficiency, efficiency in stock market, etc and not considering the equity problem. And uh, next challenge to economics is to bring in equity program or fairness program. 
more systematically.